What's up YouTube? Today I just want to do a quick video on how to check see if your hard start kit's working on your compressor. Went out to check inrush current on mine the other day and even though I have this nice climb meter, it gives me inconsistent results on inrush um, because I guess the different waveforms, it's not a, a perfect sine wave uh, that rushes in there and this meter doesn't know how to deal with it so I get inconsistent results. So I said, well how can I figure out if this thing is working or not? Well, uh, a few things you can do. Uh, make sure the potential relay is, is uh, installed properly. The whole thing's installed properly. Follow the instructions. And this one's this little mock-up I have for you here is installed properly. And we're doing a mock-up here because it's a lot safer to demonstrate it this way than doing it live. Um, on a potential relay, if it's working right, you'll have continuity between pins in one and two when the power is off. Um, obviously, your start capacitor needs to be in good physical shape. If you do a visual inspection and it's blown up, then obviously it's not going to work. Um, it's a bit of a pain to check these start capacitors because of that the bleeder resistor you see on here. You have to unsolder that to check the capacitor. So I did that on one of mine. It, everything checked out fine, but it didn't show any significant reduction in the current. So here's the way to check it. Uh, put your current meter on one of the wires of the start capacitor and then push uh, carefully. And this is all live now in the, for, in the real world. Push the start button on the relay on your contactor and the compressor will start. If this is working properly, you're going to see some current draw on this start capacitor for about a half a second or a fraction of a second. So I checked mine and it showed like six amps and then it went down to zero. So that shows me that the capacitor is doing some work here. And the fact that it, get, it had some current flow here, five or six amps, and then it went to zero real quickly that the potential relay was working. It took the capacitor out of the circuit as it should. Um, so I concluded that that was working. The lights aren't dimming. Everything's in the physical shape is fine. It's installed properly. The capacitor checks out. But if you don't want to go through all that rigmarole, just put your current meter on one leg of the start cap capacitor, do a, a brief start here, and see if it's drawing current right here. If it's not drawing current, then there's a problem and it's not working. So uh, if the potential relay had failed and it stuck on, then this capacitor would have been blown up and you'd have seen that in the visual. So just do this quick check here. Just draw a little bit of current. I checked three units today. They all were working in, in regard, this regard like this. Brief start by pushing this button and, and you draw some current and then it quickly goes to zero. That means it's all working properly. All right, I hope that's helpful. I'm out.